You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, GH fans, we've got an item to discuss related to the upcoming return of Jason Morgan and how he comes back and whose storylines that he jumps into. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I want to talk to you guys about a spoiler for Elizabeth Weber that might reveal the fate of Stone Cold and his comeback to Port Charles. Let's dig in, but please subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss anything. All right. You might already be doing the same debate that many general hospital fans are doing right now, questioning if Jason Morgan is going to get back with Sam McCall or if he's going to get back with Carly Spencer once he's back on the ABC soap opera scene, because of course they're going to have him in a front burner romance. Certainly. I mean, it makes sense to ask these questions, Sam or Carly. I mean, after all, they put Kelly Monaco and Laura Wright, who play Sam and Carly, in that promo with Steve Burton that revealed his return. And that's great. I mean, it prompts interesting questions about future storylines, but it's also kind of quizzical. So much so that it makes me wonder if the powers that be at General Hospital decided, okay, we're picturing a three-door reveal with Steve Burton coming out of the middle one, and then they debated, who should we use for the two other doors? Should it be Sonny? Should it be Drew? And then somebody said, no, are you crazy? It should be women. And they're like, okay, well, he's dated plenty of women. Who should it be? You know? So... I think they may have decided Sam and Carly would trigger the biggest fan response. But that does not mean GH is going to pair Jason with either one of them. I mean, it's been literally years since Jason was with Sam. And she's been with Dante, you know, for a good long while now. And they seem to be on a really solid footing Unless something happens and he's shot in the line of duty, leaves the show, something like that, I just don't see them splitting up. As for Carly, you know, she's with Jason's twin, Drew. And right now, Drew is kind of in this dark spiral after getting out of prison. He's being kind of controlling. He's lashing out. It's understandable. So I I don't see Carly dumping Drew, though, not, not for a while. I mean, how tacky would it be for her to ditch Drew when his twin, Jason, comes back from the dead since Drew went to prison to keep her out of prison. It was her illegal stock trade that started the whole thing that wound up with him in jail. Don't yell at me. I know everybody wants to blame Nina, but Carly said last week, it was my fault. If I didn't do what I did, Nina couldn't have done what she did and Drew wouldn't have wound up in prison. She said it out loud. I'm repeating what Carly said, but let's be real. Neither Carly nor Nina could have known when they each did bad things that it would wind up with Drew going to prison or him getting beaten half to death. Nobody could foresee that because he shouldn't have gotten a prison sentence like that anyway. But still, I think Carly is going to have to stick it out with Drew for a while. It would be better for optics if he's the one who broke things off with her after that huge, huge life risking, you know, consequence he paid for her so that she wouldn't have to pay it. So we'll have to wait and see how that goes. But at any rate, there's a new general hospital spoiler that has me thinking it might not be Sam's door or Carly's door that Jason goes knocking on. The last time Jason Morgan resurrected, do you remember this was the whole patient six storyline? It was like 2017, I believe. He crashed his way down into Port Charles in style, leaping through the skylight at the Metro Court restaurant, shattering glass everywhere, stunning the big crowd gathered for a launch party for the media company that would later be renamed Aurora Media. So Jason crashed the party, literally, and then he ran off to save Sam from a kidnapper. This time, maybe, just maybe, Jason slips into Port Chuck in a more kind of low-key manner, if this spoiler is indeed about him. So the spoiler came directly from two of the GH co-writers when they were giving out spoilers for early 
2024 back as 2023 was just ending. So this spoiler I'm about to tell you about, they said the timing of it is, quote, a little while into the new year. So first, let's just talk about the timing, and then I'll tell you about the rest of it. A little while into 2024 would definitely fit the time frame for February sweeps, and we know Jason's coming back in sweeps because Steve Burton began filming in January for his big ABC soap opera comeback. So the timing is right for this spoiler to coincide with his return. The spoiler continues saying, Elizabeth is stunned as a presence from her past shows up on her doorstep needing her help. That leaves several options open. I know some people wonder if it's Jonathan Jackson back as Lucky Spencer. Here's the thing. I would love, love, capital L, love to see Lucky back in Port Charles. But we know 100% that they have this giant return with Jason in sweeps. They are not going to do a second huge return of a past star back to back. Why would they? If they were bringing back Lucky, they would save it for a different sweeps. May sweeps, November sweeps, you know, the anniversary of the show, something big, some big event. They usually do one big surprise in sweeps. It might be a murder mystery, a resurrection, a birth, a cancer diagnosis. You know, right now, leading up into sweeps, we've got this baby kidnapping, Esme's memories coming back, and we have Jason coming. They're not going to give us one more giant comeback, right? Unless it was some kind of short-term thing for a special event like a major character's funeral, for instance, as we just saw with the Jackie Zeman Bobby Spencer tribute and a couple of people back for that. So despite the fact that Lucky is indeed a presence from Liz's past, do not look for him at her door. There is another ex of hers that I could see knocking on her door and that is not Jason. It could possibly be Nicholas Cassidyne and maybe he needs her help while on the run with baby Ace in case he didn't leave town ASAP. But I, I kind of don't see them dragging Liz into Nicholas's story at this point, at this late date. I think the Nicholas storyline may in fact go on hold while Spencer is gone with Trina, while Nicholas Chavez is off the show shooting his Netflix series. So we'll have to wait and see on that. Really, I'm leaning towards this spoiler being about Jason and Liz. And I know there's a big bunch of fans who would love it if it was. The Jason Liz romance has a ton of fans that love them from way back, still hoping to see their ship rise again. I will say this, even if it is Liz's door that Jason knocks on, take it with a grain of salt. That doesn't mean they're going to re-spark their relationship. You longtime GH watchers know the writers so rarely give Liz her own storyline. They used to a long time ago, but honestly, it's been years since they have. Nowadays, she's mostly an accessory in some male character's storyline. Like now, she's along for the ride with Hammy Finn's malpractice suit storyline. The whole thing with her missing time, remember that, and her stuff turning up strange, like her dress being cut up, that didn't even go anywhere. Everybody was debating, oh, you know, does she have DID? Does she have this? Does she have that? Is she's losing time? And then they just abruptly dropped the storyline like, oh, no, Liz, oh, sorry, we accidentally started writing a storyline for Liz. We need to shut that down now, you know, frustrating. So Yeah, I could definitely see Jason knocking on Liz's door. And of course, she'd let him in. Of course, she would help him. But romance? I don't know. Would I prefer her to be back with Stone Cold and Lizard Loving Finn goes to find a new gal pal? Yeah, sure. But do I think GH will really go there? Mm, Maybe. Maybe for a minute. I just doubt they'd stick with it. I, I don't know. Uh, I do think that Liz has more room in her storyline space than Carly does right now, or Sam. Sam's involved with Carly. They're all involved in this Drew, this Dante stuff, you know, the Sunny stuff, the Nina stuff. There's a lot of stuff kind of swirling around those two. 
where Liz, really, she just has this garbage with Finn. So she's a good person to slide Jason in with to reintroduce him using someone from his past because she's not part of other major storylines and Finn's malpractice suit should start and end soon. This coming week, he's on the stand and court cases usually don't last longer than a handful of episodes, sometimes even just one or two. So then, you know, Liz will be free and ready to answer the door. And maybe, maybe Jason Morgan is the one knocking. We'll see. What do you guys think? Do you want to see Jason at Liz's door, whether they get romantic or not? Definitely drop your comments. Let me know what you think. Please click subscribe if you haven't already and come back soon. I'm here talking GH with you guys seven days a week. And as always, it's Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.